Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you how I make homemade fries. I'm sure everyone has their uh, recipe that they like to use. It's pretty simple to make. Um, so I'm going to show you how we do ours. So I'm going to be using a serrated knife. That is the one um, with all the grooves, if you don't know. Um, it just makes it a lot easier when you're cutting them. And then I'm just going to take my pan, just a normal bake pan, and I'm going to use some extra virgin olive oil, if you can read that. So I'm just going to like put it on the pan, sprinkle it on there, so that way it's, it's pretty coated. And then when you move the potatoes around, then you'll be able to coat the whole bottom. And I just went ahead and preheated the oven to um, 450, and I'm gonna cook them on there for about 30, 35 minutes. Um, but I'm gonna wait till it's preheated. So step number one for cooking anything, if you don't wash your hands, you're gross, and you should not be cooking. Um, so I'm gonna wash my hands. And this is my first video, so I'm still trying to figure out where to put my camera. Um, so my next cooking video is not going to be like this at all. And you have to use soap. Alright, hands are clean. And if you see me like keep looking that way, it's because I'm looking at my son outside. He's currently hammering the dirt. Um, seriously, he is, he's really going in, hammering the dirt. So there's about five of us here at home. I'm going to use, I have five potatoes. Normally I do six, um, but five is what I have, so we're going to make it work. So I always start by cutting the potato in half long ways, like that. Mm. And then I cut each half um, another time. So the kind that I'm going to be making is more like the steak fries. That's normally what we eat. Um, there is another way that you can make them to where they're the more shoestring fries. It's just going to require you to cut your potato a little bit more. And then, so you're going to have a potato about that thick. And then on the end, it's a little bit fatter, so I'm just going to cut those in half again. Normally I like making the diced potatoes better because it's easier to cut. Um, and I like eating them like that. I just normally sprinkle on some cheese. Um, and I don't, if you've ever put cheese and bacon on those with some Parmesan cheese, oh man. It's so good. So then I just cut it into like three. Um, so each fry is going to look like that. And then these ones are just a little smaller, but still about the same thickness. And then I'm going to put it on. And before I did this with the potatoes, I washed them. And I just washed them in water. Um, some people use the uh, a different solution. I'm going to be trying one of those and making... Um, a homemade one with vinegar and I can share how that goes um, but I've just used water I just kind of soak them in the in the water and scrub them really good give them a little bubble bath but I wouldn't recommend washing them with soap so I do plan on doing um, a video where I'm gonna be sharing um, how to do that vegetable wash Cause they put all kinds of stuff on food nowadays. I mean, I wish I could grow everything in my backyard, but I live in like, I live in a neighborhood where the yards aren't that big. So it's kind of hard. I do have some carrots going. Um, and if you want to check the progress of those, visit my Instagram. And it was really cool cause me and my son were able to make a, like a, a, not a feeder, you don't feed plants. 
like a, a plant grower. I don't really know the correct word for that. Um, but we got some discount wood at Home Depot. And then he was able to hammer and use hammer and nails and make like a box where then we filled it up with dirt. And that was a lot of fun to make. He did hit my finger with the hammer. And then I was like, you know what? You're going to hold the nails. <laughs> And then he hit his finger with the hammer, and he did not like that very much. Um, so I'm cutting these now. I just like put one slice down, and then I cut these ones into fourths because the potato was a little bit bigger. And I'm just going to put them on the tray. Like I said, this was my first video doing it uh, with this camera. Um, so I'm going... The, the video quality is going to be a lot better in the other videos that I'm going to do. So please just bear with me. I'm still kind of new um, at making the videos. Um, and if you have suggestions on how to do the video so that way people can see your face and then also be able to see what you're doing, let me know. So there's lots of different ways that people can season these. Um, one way that I've tried, I'm not going to make them this way tonight, but you can put garlic seasoning on them and then you can add some Parmesan cheese to them after they're done cooking or a little bit close to the time that they're done. I don't like to put cheese on them when they're raw because uh, then you can end up with burnt cheese. I mean, all kinds of cheese is good, but I don't, I don't really like burnt cheese. And I started making potatoes, potato chips, potatoes and fries, doing the diced potatoes. I started doing those on my own versus buying them from the store when I got diagnosed with sarcoidosis. If you don't know what sarcoidosis is, I'm going to be doing a video where I'm going to be talking about it and then just kind of the diet plan that I followed, finding out that I had an autoimmune disease because I have noticed that diet plays a huge part in autoimmune diseases. And that's the reason why I started eating a lot better, started making my food from scratch. And that's the reason why I really want to soon be able to open up my restaurant. And it's not gonna be a restaurant with like food food initially, perhaps in the future I can go to that. Um, but it's gonna be more like a snack bar and I'm super excited because I love sweets and all that, um, cookies, yogurt, um, or like frozen yogurt, so kind of like ice cream, um, but muffins. I really like pancakes, and I'm looking at a whole bunch of different recipes that I'm coming up with, and I'm going to be sharing all of those, um, and I'm gonna have them at my restaurant. I think I'm gonna just call it a snack bar, because restaurant makes you think more food. But diet plays a huge part in um, dealing with autoimmune disorders. I lost about 50 pounds in three months. Yeah, like three, three and a half months just in my diet alone, guys. I don't exercise. I'm, I need to, but I don't. Uh, so I started cooking a lot more of my food. I don't really eat anything processed. I try to stay far away from it. I do have occasional Chick-fil-A because if you don't like Chick-fil-A, I don't trust you. <laughs> it's like all their food is so good. And I used to work there um, when I was younger and they make so much stuff from scratch. It's just all the stuff, like even in the oils, oils can cause inflammation, certain types. And I can't wait to share with you guys all that I have learned from that, I did even go see a holistic doctor um, who gave me a bunch of advice of just how much um, your diet affects your life. So I'm still kind of learning how to cut these. So um, if you get them and they're not really even, it's just go back and cut them. I seriously really want to get a potato cutter that just you just push and then it makes these. Um, but just try to make them as even as possible. So they're all about the same thickness. Now that I'm looking at them, I'm just gonna kind of push through the pan. Um, 
to make sure that they all fit. Okay, so cutting board is going in the sink. And now we have the potatoes on the cookie sheet. And I will show you guys in a minute what all that looks like. So yeah, I'm cooking these on 450, 30 minutes. All right, so I had to push pause because my dad came in. All right, so I have the potatoes all laid out. I'm gonna show what those look like in a little bit. I tried to readjust my camera. Like I said, guys, please be patient with me. This is my first video doing this, and uh, I know it's not working too great. So I'm just gonna hold it because I was really using the olive oil bottle to hold it on my phone. So I'm gonna use this. So I'm just gonna sprinkle it on top. I have found that the more olive oil that you use, by the way, I recommend using olive oil um, because it's it's better for you than like vegetable oil, which I really don't even know if that's oil, honestly. I don't know what it is. Okay, good. All right, so now I have them all oiled up. But like I was saying, when you oil them, um, they're less likely to stick to the pan, which is super helpful um because if they get stuck to the pan then they can be all mushy and then yeah it just doesn't work out so i'm gonna try some different spices with these to see um i do do the add the spices before i cook them and then a little bit afterwards so i'm gonna get some spices So we are actually out of pepper and that is very sad because I use pepper on a lot of stuff. I, I don't use a lot of salt. I use a lot more pepper. So I am going to actually put some garlic salt on there. I just get Kroger brand and it's, uh, it, it's really good. It's just garlic powder versus garlic salt. Um, so I'm just going to sprinkle some of that on there. I like doing traditional fries, just salt and pepper, um, but sometimes I like to spice it up a little i know sometimes people are a little weird about trying different things um to their traditional food but sometimes if you spice it up it tastes good and then this is a secret ingredient in so much stuff it's so amazing if you haven't tried any get it it's from trader joe's it is everything but the bagel sesame this stuff is like crack i mean if you put you can put it on anything pork chops it's so good um i haven't used it on fish but I'm going to try eventually. So, and I've never tried this on fries, so we'll see how it goes. All right, so I put that on there. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I could put on there um, while I'm thinking. Let me know what you guys like to put on your fries, um, what recipes, or if you've tried any spices on there, chili cheese fries, what, what do you guys like to put on your fries? Let me know and maybe I can try to make one of those videos. Fries is like one of my favorite foods. And when I knew that I had to eat healthy, I was so sad because I thought that I couldn't enjoy those. But you can. And maybe I should make some chili cheese fries actually. That sounds really good and I love chili. But uh, let me know in the comments, what, what do you want to see on your fries? How do you make them? So I think uh, I'm going to put some cayenne pepper on them. Just a little bit of spice. So let me get that. So I'm going to be using red cayenne pepper. By now the oven is done preheating, which is awesome. I always wait for that. Just so it, my cooking time is always the same. Because I'm one of those people, I love to cook. But I'm not one of those people that just know how to cook from memory. Like I have to have a recipe. Um, that's why I'm working on some myself, but it's a learning process. All right, so I'm going to now put my finger in the camera, apparently. No, I'm going to show you guys the fries. Oh, to me, they look so yummy. All right, so now I'm going to put these in the oven once again, 30 minutes on 450. I'm going to just put those in there. Now that they've been olive oiled, I'm going to put them on the top shelf. And depending on what oven you use, Quick Bake is also very healthy because it 
not healthy, <laughs> is uh, helpful in the process because it moves the heat all around. So it kind of helps out um, with how fast the cooking is going to be. So I put it on there for 20 minutes and then I flip it and then I put it in there for the other 20 minutes. Um, and so on this channel, I'm going to be doing a lot more um, food recipes. Um, a lot of them is going to be like cookies and sweet stuff, stuff that is healthy for you. Um, I just got a new product. I'm going to be doing an unboxing of that really soon. And hopefully this product is gonna be really, really useful in a lot of my recipes. Um, so you just have to watch that video to see what it is. Um, and I'm really excited to try it. And I actually got it from quill.com because I buy office supplies at work. So I was so excited because it's a, it's kind of an expensive piece of equipment, but I got it with pretty much for free because I had to get the office supplies anyways. So just stay tuned um, to see what that product is. And then just stay tuned to see what other videos come up. Um, like I said before, this is my first video. Thank you so much for your patience as I know the camera angles were not the best, but they will be in the future. So thank you for your patience. If you have watched this far, um, I really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe. Uh, let me know what other things you guys want me to make. I'll be doing a lot of these videos and even um, some with my son who is quite a character. Um, and I can't wait to share those with you. So if you want to see what these tasty fries look like um, just visit my Instagram I will put the name below for you to be able to see me on Instagram um, and I'm going to be sharing a lot more um, I'm very excited but I want to know what everybody wants to see what kind of things do you want to see made um, and if you have an autoimmune disease let me know we can talk about it we're gonna talk about it and um, let me know if there's things that you used to eat that you can't anymore and we can see if we can make a healthy recipe out of it using all natural ingredients you'd be surprised um, at how good they taste and then also what things you can recreate with healthy food and you shouldn't have to feel like you're eating cardboard uh, just because you have to eat healthy there's lots of ways um, to make food taste good using natural products I mean there's so many things and that's what I have found in this journey because I loved food, salty things, chocolatey things, fatty things, junk food. And so I was like, I, I really just want to experiment with the food. And so if you are interested in that, um, even if you don't have an autoimmune disease, you just want to eat healthy, please stay tuned. There's going to be a lot more videos coming um, and let me know what you want me to make. I am definitely open to feedback. Please let me know. Um, and then just like and subscribe please um, and I promise you there will be a lot more fun things to come and be sure to check out my other podcasts I have mommy and moo hashtag mommy and moo hashtag Avon together and then hashtag makeup together um, so you can put those in in the search bar on YouTube and you'll be able to find me so thank you very much and I hope everyone has a wonderful night and if you try these fries let me know what you think um, if you have any other additions or things you, you didn't like, just let me know because uh, I want this to be a, a community type thing. This, you know, I want to hear from what everybody else has to say and be able to incorporate that in the videos. So thank you very much. Have a wonderful night or morning whenever you're watching this. I hope you have a great day. Thank you.